Even in the rain, still gotta check everybody out. What is it? Do you know Prima? That's Mrs. Prima to you. You've ever been to the inn here? Prima is the clerk over at Tanpu Inn. This is tough. I have to give her something. You need anything else? Nope, bye. So we need to ask Prima what she wants most. Yo, girl. How's it going? I'm I'm not here for that. Oh. Sir, did you need something from me? Aha! Finally! Man, I'll, I'll admit, this is the first time I've ever looked up for a guide for Breath of the Wild, because I could not figure out how to get her to tell me what she wants. And so now, what would you like? Why is he asking? Whatever, I'll just say something random. I'll tell you something I really like. Crickets. It's my dream to have my very own collection of 100 restless crickets. As if. Oh, boy. 100? Please, please don't tell me I have to collect 100. You. Yeah, what is it? I talked to her. What? Prima, I told you what she wants? Prima, she never even talks to me. Ahem, I mean, uh, that's cool, that's cool. So then, what is it? 100 insects. She wants w restless crickets and 100 of them? Ha <laughs> ha, what a small world. I love restless crickets. I'm a connoisseur of them. I think that's what the word means. But catching 100 of them is going to be tough. Think you could help me get started on those? How about you give me 10 of them? I'll get you something nice for your trouble. How many do I have? Pray tell. Zero? I'm guessing zero. Let's let's find out. Uh, crickets, where are they? Uh, <laughs> funny. Funny, there are none. I have your 10 crickets. Checking out everyone out today, too. The checking just never stops. What is it? I got him. You got some restless crickets already? Wow, that was fast. I haven't even caught one yet. Well, let me see those restless crickets you got. You really got them? I thought you were just messing with me. Okay, so, hmm. Uh, yeah, that's 10. Thanks, I'll take them. A little something for your troubles. Silver rupee, cool. Right then, I'll go ahead and catch the rest of them. Then I'll take him to Prima and we'll have that d d d d d d Oh no, my, my st 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 stutter. Cool. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pallid. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we explored and reached Goron City. This time, we're going to be exploring more of it, but not before I did that quest, which has been sitting around in our menu for 20 episodes? So now it's done. Neat. So, let's head on back to Goron City to start the episode off proper. Back in Goron City, let's talk to the people a little bit. Last time we were kind of in and out, we went straight for the jugular and talked to the village elder. So, let's take a, a step back and talk to people like this guy, who is doing push-ups while standing up. Hey, buddy. My reckless brother hasn't come back yet. What in the world is he thinking? Brother? My little brother, Gun Guron. I'm really proud of him, but he said he was going to go dig up the secret of the hero, and then he just took off. I really I really don't know what in the world got into him. Uh, secret of the hero? Southwest of Gorko Lake, there's an abandoned spot called Gorko Tunnel. Beyond that hard bedrock, there lies not just ore, but the secret of the hero. Or so the legend goes. True or not, it makes for a good story. I heard it from my dad's cousins, neighbors, uncles, dogs, pets, uh, Aunt May. Instead of chasing dreams, I prefer to see him face reality and help us out with our important Goron work, like eating rocks. <laughs> yeah, Gorko Tunnel? Gorko Tunnel is an abandoned spot south of the Gorko Lake. Bedrock, yes. Secrets. 
Okay, so I'm guessing it's a shrine based on the fact that it called it a shrine quest, so we can we can go investigate that. Gorko Lake, huh? I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Okay, what's in here? Did we go in here already? Yeah, they had the rock salt and the potions. Hey, you! Welcome to Protein Palace, the hot spot for on the rocks grilling. How's it going? You need something? What are you selling? Wow, really? I haven't had a customer in ages. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, we're having a sale! I'll tell you something interesting, Goron City is hot. If you put anything on the ground, it'll cook up in no time. Once people figure that out, we lost all our customers. All of them. But we're having a sale, and if you see something you want, just grab it hot off the grill. Because it's on sale. What do you ha what do you have? What what do you actually have? Can Oh, he has nothing. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, he's stuff, you know, like that I have to pick up. Okay, so I can sell stuff. What what else? So what does he actually have? Toasty Hylian shroom, a seared steak worth 30 rupees and not worth it. And that's it. Can I get on here? Can I be the one who's being cooked? Yes, but it won't hurt me. Neat. Okay, so he he cooks things. Also, I love, <laughs> I love how he was talking about how people just figured out that they can throw food on the ground. So they've lived here for thousands of years, and they just figured out that that it's hot enough to to cook food out in the open. They just figured that out. Oh, also off screen, I uh, I decided to dye my gear. So following the color coding strategy. Uh, my gear is yellow because I joked about me being a fireman last episode, and I think that that should stick. I also dyed my warm doublet uh, white because then it will blend in with snow, and yeah, that's all the changes I made. Okay, so what's up here? Eventually we need to... Actually, I think this is the last stop, but we need to stop by or go up to the place where that guy was getting painkillers. It's almost time to sleep. This is the house of the distinguished Goron artisan, Master Rohan. You, you need something? Who's Rohan? Master Rohan is a godly blacksmith. He's responsible for keeping the ancient art, arts alive. He's really strict with everyone, me included. In my case, he told me to beat every Igneo Talus around Goron City as part of my training. But I can't get to the Igneo Talus at Jerunia Lake. <sighs> if only someone would go in my place. Neat. We can get that done, too. And there's Rohan himself. So I assume that... Looks like they're playing tic-tac-toe. I assume that... That is... A boss. And if we face that, then we can maybe forge some things? I'm not sure. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's just an iron sledgehammer. Those are laying around a lot. And I think that they're... That the game wants me to use them as tools. But I just have so much good gear right now. So where are we actually going? The abandoned north mine, which is I presumably up this way. Also, you'll notice that my map is now on. I'm I'm not a huge fan of using this map, but I I needed to do it for uh, one of the quests in Hateno Village or the quest in Hateno Village, and so I turned it on. And I don't know, maybe I'll I'll keep it on a little bit. So we're heading up north to well, there's Darunia Lake. And we're heading to a mine, I guess? I mean, I'll just follow this road until it runs out. Hey, how's it going? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, he's going to be a problem. Circle around here, get out of his range. Oh, man. Those guys are so hard to defeat. In fact, they're almost impossible to defeat without a, a bow, which I can't use. Well, here's the mine. I can't use bows because they burn up, and I don't have any uh, metal bows. Hmm? Yes. What's going on today? So many people out and about. You should get get to know. You should know it gets so much hotter past here, and there are lots of monsters. It's really dangerous. Do you know Yonobo? Why is a stranger like you asking about no Yonobo? Boss wants to know. Huh? Boss does. Well, I guess I'd better tell you where Yonobo is. He's, he's right behind me, actually. He went to the vault to fetch some painkillers, but now that you mention it, I suppose he never came back. 
This place is dangerous. So I shall probably sh so you probably shouldn't go looking for him. So who are you? Who me? They call me Dirac. Ever since Divine Beast Va Rudania showed up, there's a ton of lava. It's way too hot right now, and there are monsters around too. Boss keeps watch over this area, but he can only do so much. So, you need something else? Where am I? Ben North Mine? And this is a little ditty we used to sing while we worked. And we'll go boom till the... <laughs> oh no. And we'll go boom until or fills the room. Gather said or for rupees to galore. Dig all the day to get the good pay. Yeah, this is a famous mi mine, my man. Or so it was until the, the beast showed up. Now it's way too hot. There's a ton more lava and all kinds of monsters out and about. So it's dangerous and we can't dig here anymore. And that's it. Uh, you know, I could go rescue this dude, or I could go to Darunia Lake, which I kind of want to go to Darunia Lake, to be honest. Let's see, what is it? Darunia Lake, uh, Goron City. Is this it? This is it. Let's see if we can face this guy. Darunia Lake, he's way over there. Uh, I, I guess, technically now, the the story quest is on our way, so we, I guess we have to complete that now. What is this? North Mine, no authorized access. Well, that looks like the cannon they were talking about earlier. Well, I think that my, my heat gear can stand up to this. If not, oh, I don't have a bow. Oh, but they might have bows. They do! They, they have bows that don't burn up. Yes! Don't fall in the lava! Oh, they, they're immune to lava. I forgot. They are fiery. Come. Come attack me. Ah. Let's just uh, heal that up. Let's chug some... What am I going to chug here? I guess just this. I don't even have to use this yet. Come. Come and get it. Come and get... Okay. I I slipped. Uh, that was not me. That was actually just the controls. I, I held back, but apparently... Oh. Apparently... Oh. The controls are very slippery, despite this being... What on earth? Why am I slipping around? What is causing that? Like, I was not... I stopped holding left on the control stick here, and it just... That's weird. I'm... I'm not crazy. I'm, I'm really not. I'm... I'm holding... Oh, boy. I'm holding back on, on this, but for some reason, my controls are just... slipping. Weird. Maybe it's... Here, wait. Let me... No, th that doesn't explain it either. I have no clue why my controls were slipping around so much there. Here, let's go ahead and down... Yeah, let's down this thing. It'll it'll heal me and give me some heat resistance. Which I don't think I need, but it's there. Let's see, what is this? Can I... Here, can I use a bomb here? It'll roll in. And then... Whoa! It does work. Can we use this? Oh. Oh, man. Other way. Keep going. Mm, it won't turn as far as I want. That's a shame. Here, let's... Let's see if I can hit anything with this. That's... It's aimed at a thing. It didn't do anything. Okay, well. Now I know I can use those things. And now I have a bow. Uh, let's equip that and use our ice arrows, which I have 32 of, which instantly kill these guys. Cool, and that gives me another free bow. Uh, let's here. Let's just throw this away. Oh snap! Uh, I I was gonna just use it until it died, but that's in retrospect that's a huge waste. So let's just grab that, and now we have three bows that we can use. And also, in retrospect, this was probably a dumb idea. 
Uh, you know, this is probably dumb. Here, let's fly over here. Whew, now where am I actually headed? Let's skirt that. Ugh. Where am I headed here? Uh, I'm on a weird island. Where should I? It looks like I just need to circle over there. So let, let's work on doing that. This is almost reminding. It's re reminding. Yeah, it's reminding me a lot of the stealth mission in Skyward Sword, mainly because of the music. But we're not supposed to be stealthy. But anything that reminds me of Skyward Sword is a good thing. I, I love that game. There's a Goron up there. Let's go say hi to this guy. Hey! Oh! Oh, I already saw him. I am I am blind and also deaf. So we're headed this way? What is the easiest way to get... Oh, there. that's how. We use these updrafts. And hopefully dodge all the fire arrows. Two. Oh, boy. And you two. Kill them both. And we can get their bows as well. I'm I have no reason not to take these bows. The they're all better than the bow I have. The the only bow that I, I wouldn't consider dropping is the phrenic bow, and that thing I just do that because it's useful. Oh boy. Kill you. Don't need your bow this time. Let's see, this looks explodable so let's drop a bomb and do nothing odd maybe we need the cannon or a cannon let's progress a little bit more looks like there's a cannon over there that we might be able to aim at the thing oh they're they're firing at me they're firing at me I may actually want to head over there simply because Woo! There's a base. Or I could fire on him. That works too. Let's use my circular bomb. Drop it in. Uh. Yeah, let's let's aim at that. Oh, this is perfectly aim, isn't it? It's gonna go right in the eye socket. Whoa! Whoa! I completely decimated that thing. Wow. And that does nothing. Okay. So we're headed... <gasps> oh! Do you guys see what I see? Minecarts! Yes! Skyward Sword! That was that was one of the best minigames in Skyward Sword. Let's see, where am I headed? I'm actually headed over there. What do you know? But that was one of the best minigames in Skyward Sword. And I, I hope that they brought it back. I'm just gonna fly over here. To where your base was, and I'm just gonna grab open this chest, if you'll excuse me. With more ice arrows to replace the ones I've used the, this episode. Thank you. And you would like to die as well. Here, you. Goodbye. Oh, really? He moved right the last second. Oh well. I guess I'll just take him out the normal way some fire arrows and he's now out of my reach all right so where are we headed now over here that we can use this cannon for something let's see it's aimed at this so let's I've learned to use its default shot first to do to usually do that okay but then also to swing it around to see what I could possibly hit It's looking like nothing. Oh, no, no. That destroyed something and opened up a, an air geyser. Once again, I opened up my sailcloth. I don't know. You know, it, it may very well be the frame skips. It sounds weird for me to be blaming frame skips, but it's possible that the frame skips are to blame here. Let's see. Is that actually better than what I have? 25, 26. 
as opposed to 2525. Yeah, I can, I'll take that. It's, I think it's better than what I have. Knight's bow, cool. So let's see, there's a shrine nearby. Uh, there's still that, that sparkly thing over there, but I think that we're just going to take this new air current straight up. Carry me all the way up, and we're gonna to, we're gonna grab this cannon because the cannons have been good to me thus far. What is this going to open? Get in there. Use the default shot first. Usually do nothing with that shot. Yeah, but then we can hit the cannon to see what it truly wants us to aim at. Aiming really far to the right on this. Yeah, I'm not sure what that accomplished. <gasps> oh, no. I know exactly what we need to do. Yeah. What we need to do... Because we can't use our normal bombs on this. It's it's actually a bit of a mini game, So, we need to release or detonate the bomb... While it's aiming at that... That opening. So, let's... Hit this... And then fire, and free the guy. Which means that's that's what they wanted us to do for the other one. Oh. Whoa. Using some crazy magic there. Have Gorons ever used magic before? And, and don't count that whole sage thing, because sages don't really count. Have Gorons used magic? I don't think they have. Here, what? You're the, you're the guy, right? You had the pain meds? So, the pain meds gave you a magical shield. I'll, I'll take those. Oh man, oh man, oh man, what am I gonna do? Monsters! They're here! They found me! Help! Hey, buddy. Yep, I'm a monster. Hey, sup? Hmm? Hmm? Now I've gotten a good look. Whoa, it's a Hylian. Were you the one who broke through the, that crag to rescue me, Goro? Thanks, brother. But what brought you all the way out here to begin with? Looking for Yonabo. Oh, so that's it. Boss told you to come find me. Whew, thank goodness. In any case, I'm sure glad you saved me, Goro. The name's Yonobo. Everyone calls me Yonobo. Makes sense, Goro. I came to get some painkillers for boss, but a magma bomb a magma bomb caused a rock slide, sealing the entrance, Goro. By the way, how did you break those rocks at the, entr at the entrance, Goro? Huh? With a cannon. Huh? You use boss's cannon? That thing is so difficult to use. I thought only boss could handle it. Oops, I nearly forgot. This isn't the time to chat. I need to deliver those painkillers as soon as possible. Sorry, I gotta run, but do come by and see the boss later, okay? He may be gruff, but he's al he always repays a favor. I'm sure there's a reward in it for you. Okay then, bye for now, uh, Goro. Yep, see ya. Don't die and stuff. Now if you excuse me, I am going to go check out those chests. And also possibly fight a boss along the way back. But the chests are first. There's a, me a couple weapons there. Ten more ice arrows. It's very clear that they want us to use these things. And a purple rupee. Oh, thank goodness. I am so low on, on rupees right now. It is, it's not funny. I, I need so many rupees. Uh, 10 t or 20 more rupees. Neat. What about you? Nothing. Well, we got, oh, wait, wait, there, there are more. 50 rupees. Whew. I, I need more rupees. That That is not enough. Okay, so on the way back, we need to... Actually, probably deal with that aisle, because there's undoubtedly a shrine back there. Maybe? I'm not... The problem is that the, these shrines blend in so well because they're orange. So, I'm not seeing the shrine. But we do ultimately need to head over to Darunia Lake. What is the best play way to do so? 
We also need to deal with that ca that rock pile. So I'll deal with the rock pile first, and then we'll head over to Jerunia Lake. Skirbaloosh! And what it, what are the spoils from this? I'm guessing some su some sweet ore? Oi! Well, I was right. Here, I don't want to use a bomb on this. Oh, man. That, that was the mother load right there. Okay, so we're heading over to the other side of the lake. Which means... Getting on this bank and heading north, I guess? Let's see if we can do that. Oh, boy. That's a lot of lava. <laughs> Better not fall. Oh, this is scary. But... I made it. Is this... Uh, is this grass? I don't think it's grass. So we're heading over to Journey Lake because we have this... Wait, no. Where is it? Uh, The Road to Respect. We have this side quest, which we are really close to the objective of. So we're going to head over there. I'm guessing there's a boss. And honestly, I think that we're we're really fit to fight a boss. We have a bunch of, a bunch of ice arrows. We have uh we have Mifa's blessing. And I think that we're we're in good shape. We're almost there. Oh, yeah, I thought so. We're going to have to fight one of these now. Okay, so get my ice arrows ready. I'm not sure if I can touch this thing anymore. Here, we'll find out. I am actively on fire, so let's let's try this. Let's try this. So I can't touch him without catching on fire, right? Well, first of all, I should probably be eating... Ooh, yum. Uh, I sh should probably eat this. I'll eat this, and then let's see if eating this will help. Will that... No, it doesn't. Okay, so I can't actually touch this thing. So I'll have to defeat it with ice arrows and ice arrows alone. And then maybe, actually, maybe my... My frost spear. Oh, boy. I have to be really careful with this. When he gets down, that's when I'll shoot him. Can I hurt him normally? No, I can't hurt him normally. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that was an accident, but I can do that. Let's climb up him. Oh, boy. Yes, this works. Yes. Okay, if I can do this, then this will be quite easy. Let's jump off because he's going to try to shake me off. So this is, this is actually going to be really easy. Now, is he going to catch back on fire? That's... That's the question, and I do I have fairies for... No, I don't. So I have to be careful that I don't die. Whoa! Oh, that's what he does. So I'll put him out. He's gonna fall down. Yeah, this is gonna be... Well, actually, what am I doing? This is gonna be cake. In fact, it's gonna be such cake... That I don't even need my ice spear. Okay, I fell off of him. Ooh, an opal. Neat. In fact... If I can do this, then next episode, I'm going to defeat the other guy. Because I, I'm low on money, and this is just the thing I need. One more charge. Yes! This might kill him, actually. No, but it came close. Here, let's see if I can finish him off this way. Yes! That was easy. Wow. And it's free money. You can't turn down free money. I, th I think that we're rich again. I'm pretty sure that we're rich. Now, notwithstanding that I defeated one of these guys, but I also get a reward from the quest, so... Neat! Cool, okay, so let's... Uh, how much time is left in the episode? Let's let's find that out first. Uh, yeah, we're, we should probably end it there. 
I'm pretty sure I've exhausted my time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And join me next time when we not only defeat another one of those bosses, but we, go we deliver the good news. Oh, hey, buddy. Aww. We deliver- Whoa! <laughs> we deliver the good news back to the, the, the camp. I didn't die, right? Please say I didn't die. <laughs> I kind of underestimated that little tyke. Wow, okay. Major respect now, buddy. Alright, see you guys then. Let's witness this guy's death. I think this might be it. That's it. That's the boss. We're done. <laughs> perplexing floor, uh, perplexing pool over. Maybe I should just, you know, do it. Let's try. We'll walk in here. He'll cause the mountain to erupt. Now how bad is that exactly? <laughs>